Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here. You guys have been sending me so many questions and wanted to know what does Mariner's Landing look like after I give you guys a nighttime tour of Surfside Pier. So today I figured I'm gonna go ahead and walk on Mariner's Landing and share with you my experience. Now we did a tour, a pre-season tour of what everything looked like. And now obviously we're a month after that video. So now you can get an update on what it looks like with people on there walking around and getting on the rides. Now, before we get in there, I do have my mask because remember, you're required to have your mask when you're entering the pier and you're on the ride. So make sure you bring your mask with you. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Oh, and I keep calling it Mariner's Landing, and I apologize. It's actually Mariner's Pier. I I can't get used to it. Just like when they changed Adventure Pier, it used to be Wild Wheels. I called it the Wild Wheels for a while, but it's Mariner's Pier. <laughs> All right, I have my mask on. Let's jump on Manor's Pier. Here's our curly fries. Here you can see outside curlies, they have their markers for socially distancing. There's a curly's fry sign, man. Woo, I love that. And here we go. There's music playing behind me, so I feel that if anything ever happens to the audio, it's because either YouTube hit me with a copyright thing, I had to bleep it out or something. But um, we're heading on the pier now. There is good news for those looking to come on the pier. Moorish Pier has got rid of the reservation. So you don't actually have to re register or go online or pay to actually get on the pier. You can actually just walk right on. Beforehand, you had the option of either reserving a time, which cost money, or just kind of showing up and waiting in line. But uh, right now we're gonna walk right on the pier and I'll show you some of the signs I have set up too. Private property, you agree to wear a mask at all times. Starting with our safe play promise. And are asking for your They no longer have reservations, so you can actually go right through. Spread the it's hard to see this sign, but it says if you buy online, you can actually save. And this keeps changing. So we're going to enter through here. I like that sign. Isn't that cool looking to get the sun in the eyebrows? So we're finally on the pier now. As of right now, they still don't offer wristbands for the weekends. So either buy tickets in advance or of course you can come to the ticket booth and grab some tickets there. Let me go ahead and give you guys a 360 tour. So you guys are probably wondering what's going on with the parents' pavilion. I'm pretty sure they didn't get a chance to really finish the project because all construction had to be put in hold during the whole COVID thing. And I'm pretty sure they're more concerned about getting the boardwalk and piers open than actually finishing it. But it will be finished for next year. We got a decent amount of folks here. Obviously, there is a capacity to how many people they can have. But they do a really good job spacing people out. You got the hand sanitizer outside the games and the line where you have to stand behind. And more games, same thing over here. Everyone's got their masks on. Now today, I'm actually not only filming this video, but also filming an update for the Sea Serpent because it's finally open, that's right. I'll do a whole video about that for another time, but it's, it's great to finally see the lift hill back and the new trains running. It looks really good and really smooth. On the back of the pier is a riptide and the giant wheel. Nothing is better than being stopped at the very, very top and getting this amazing shot of the pier. I love it at night. One of the best views in the world.
Now, I'm not going to make my way back to Raging Waters just because I don't need it. We'll, we'll film that maybe for another time, but right now we're specifically just doing Mariner's Pier. And uh, I'll tell you, I mean, it seems very spaced out and all. So it's definitely safe. Maury's Pier is doing an amazing job on cleaning. I mean, I've noticed how many rides stop in between and actually close up the ride just so they can clean it and make sure that it's safe for you to get on. Here's the Sea Serpent. It was just running a minute ago. They look gorgeous, right? They look gorgeous. As I'm walking around, I said this last time, Moist Spirits does a great job with their greenery. And I love, this is such a good job with their greenery. I love it around the teacups. It is truly, truly amazing. While I'm standing in front of the parents' pavilion, I just want to share the little details they have in here because even though it's not done, they still have a lot of work to do. It is extremely adorable. Let me flip the camera around. Look, they have a beach ball here, and if you pan down, it's a Maury's W over there, and then over here, it's a sun. Maury's Piers is always number one when it comes to details. I mean, that's just something that you may not even notice once they finally cover this whole thing, but. It's just a cool little touch they add to it. And we'll come back later actually to do that Sea Serpent one over here. Um, just because I want to give you guys a full tour and there's a couple things I wanted to grab that I can't grab today. So uh, let's head off the pier. Now just like we entered on the right side, you leave on the left side. Oh, and for those who are asking about Manor's Arcade, there is one way to enter. It's only on the side over here where it says Arcade over here. And that's because in the state of New Jersey, there's a maximum amount of people who are actually allowed within any kind of, well, I mean, really, it's any kind of building, but especially inside of arcades. And I just wanted to go ahead and just take the camera inside just to show you around. Here's their sign, and this is the main entrance here. Once again, make sure you are six feet away. You can see the signs going in right here. It says, please wait here to be called forward. You can see all the dividers here, dividing everyone. They have hand sanitizers throughout the entire place. And signs reminding you, I know it's loud, but signs remain, please wear your mask like Baby Yoda. How awesome is that, right? And just to kind of walk around a little bit more, and you can find hand sanitizer everywhere. I mean, they got one here and one over there. And when you're done, you exit right here. So there you guys go. I gave you guys a tour of Mariner's Pier and Mariner's Arcade. What do you guys think? I think Moyes Piers is doing a phenomenal job when it comes to keeping everyone safe and everything extremely, extremely clean. I mean, when we were in the arcade, I didn't film it. I should have filmed it. They were wiping things down left and right. I feel like they had to hire more employees just to go ahead and keep everything clean. Now, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, Please subscribe, turn on notifications by giving this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the beach, okay? See you later. Bye.